Welcome to the clinic guys. I'm very excited because today I'm bringing you our brand new video series, our Express Strength Workout. In just 10 to 15 minutes each four, now we're going to be bring, bringing you exercise to work your upper body, your lower body, your core, get your heart and your lungs working as well. Just a full body, all round workout. Now we're bringing you these classes for two main reasons. Firstly, to give you a taste of what our bootcamp Pilates classes are all about and see if you're going to enjoy it. And a second reason is for those of you who are already doing our bootcamp Pilates classes, we'll give you a few more exercises to do throughout the week to, to boost your fitness even further. And don't worry, we're still going to be bringing you our Express Pilates class every other fortnight with a brand new Pilates class. Now if you've got any feedback we always like to hear, leave a comment below. Let's get started in today's class. We've got three exercises that we're going to run through today. And the first one is down on the mat doing push-ups. Each exercise we're going to go for 30 to 60 seconds. I'll let you know when to change over. In the push-ups, you can either start on your toes, so on your knees with your hips down, or if you want to make it harder, up on the toes. Bring your chest right down towards the mat, and then pushing all the way up. As I said, each exercise for 30 to 60 seconds, we're going to be going through three sets of the exercises, three times through. We're just going to cycle through each three. With the push-ups, hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Bring your chest all the way down towards the mat. Lightly touch the ground down the chest or the nose and then push back up. So go all the way down into this push up and then straight back up. Try and keep your back straight, try and keep your hips down. Let's keep going for another 10 seconds if you can. Try and go a little bit quicker. Five, four, three, two, one and coming up, we're going to be up on your feet, we're going to go straight into the exercise, we've got the next one, we're going to keep the tempo up, doing sumo squats, so I want you to bring your feet out as wide as you can, toes point out, arms across your chest, we're going to be sitting down to a squat and then pushing back up. Focus on keeping your chest up, keeping your eyes up, try and push your knees out as you come down into that squat. As with all squats, we're keeping the weight back on our heels. And the main thing about a sumo squat is that we've got this really wide stance. It's really going to get into your inner thighs, into your adductors. Really good to help balance out and strengthen up your inner thighs. It allows you to get a little bit deeper, gives you a stretch and opens those hip muscles. Let's go a little bit quicker now. So we're just going to keep the tempo up, going from one exercise to the next. That's just going to get your breathing going, getting your heart and lungs going. If you've got some weights at home, you can hold them between your knees as you do this sumo squat. Keep going quickly up and down, controlling the movement still. If you feel like you're off balance or you're not controlling it, just bring it back and slow it down if you need. We're at 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come back up, well done. Going into back onto the mat into a side plank. So you've got two options here, either on your knees, just like our push-ups, either on the knees or out with the legs straight. If you're on the knees, tuck the feet behind you, lift up, reach that top arm up towards the roof. We're holding here. If you want to make it harder, up on the feet. We've got 30 seconds, and we're going to do the same on the other side. Focus on keeping your hips lifted up. With that top arm, reach it up towards the roof. You'll feel it working through the obliques on the bottom side of the stomach. We're at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down, swing around. Same on the other side. Doesn't take too long with these side planks to get everything working. 30 seconds is actually quite challenging. So go straight into it. We want this elbow underneath our shoulder, so just a light, slightly lower than the shoulder. Top arm reaching up towards the roof. Lift your hips up as high as you can. You'll feel those obliques working again on the bottom side of the stomach. Halfway, another 15 seconds to go. Keep your breathing going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and resting down. Facing down the mat, back into the push-ups. We'll go through our second set. Chest down towards the mat. We're going to make it a little bit harder this time. I want you to reach one arm up towards the roof, rotate around as far as you can, and then back down to the push-up. Reach the opposite arm up towards the roof. So we're rotating, 
I want you to reach up towards the roof, watch that hand as you rotate. They're called T push ups, adding that arm movement. It gets really good to get your back muscles working as well. Rotate around as far as you can. Let's go for another 20 seconds. Keep the tempo up, but like I was saying before, only as quick as you can control. If you feel like you're off balance, feel like you're not moving with control, slow it down again. 10 seconds, rotating around as far as you can, then back down to that push up. That harder option was up on the toes. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and standing back up. We're going back into the sumo squat. We're going to grab some weights here. So if you've got weights at home, hang them between the knees, feet out wide, chest up, drop them down to a squat, and back up. If you don't have weights, just do this with the arms across the chest like we did before. Arms across the chest, keeping the chest up, keeping your shoulders back. Each time as you squat down, push your knees out, keep your weight through the heels. If you've got those weights and you're holding onto some weights, just keep your shoulders back. So we're keeping good posture in this position. Deep breathing. Just want to keep that breathing going. It's going to help keep the blood flow around. Make sure you don't fatigue too quickly. We'll go for another 20 seconds. Knees out, weight on the heels, chest up. Making sure we've got that good technique so we don't tire, we don't fatigue and lose that technique. We're at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and weights down, down onto the mat, back into that side plank. So again, elbow underneath your shoulder, knees bent, or with the legs out straight. We'll lift up and hold. We're holding this position for 30 seconds. What I want you to focus on is keeping your hips up high throughout. As you get tired, really focus on keeping that lift of the hips. With this top arm, try and reach and touch up towards the roof. It's going to help lengthen your shoulders and keep that posture. 15 seconds to go. Keeping the neck long. We're at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down, swing around, same on the other side. Feet together, lift the hips up. Reach that top arm up towards the roof, keep the neck long, really strong through this bottom shoulder with the top arm reaching up towards the roof. Just slow, continuous breathing for this one. 15 seconds to go. In through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. Lift those hips up, push them back up, make sure we're not sagging. We're at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, well, well done, resting down. We're on to our third set, third and final, back into the push-ups. If you want to make it harder, up on the toes, let's go down to a push-up, reaching an arm up towards the roof at the top, and then back down to that push-up. We're reaching the opposite arm. You can rotate a bit on your feet as you rotate the arms. If you're on the knees, just rotate a little bit on the knees. This is going to help you get that movement. At the top, I want you to think about pulling your shoulder blade back. We've got 20 seconds. Should be able to feel those shoulder and chest muscles working. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and resting down. Well done. Standing up into our final set of the squats. Feet out wide, chest up, keeping the shoulders back. If you've got those weights just between the knees, push the knees out, down to a squat, then back up. Again, the other option, one more time, just with the arms across the chest. Focus on pushing the knees out as wide as you can. You'll feel your inner thighs working as we do that. You'll feel them stretching and the hips mobilising. Keep the tempo up. I want you to inhale on the way down, then exhale on the way up. So use that breath out through the forceful part of the movement as you push up. Almost there, last couple of minutes. Let's, keep, let's go a little bit quicker. We'll go for another 30 seconds with these squats. Then we're finishing with that side plank again. Chest up, shoulders back. Remembering those cues, keeping that posture, keeping that good technique throughout. 20 seconds. Last 
10, 9, 8, right down each time, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, weights down, last exercise, either side, into that side plank, either with the knees bent and the feet kicked behind you, or with the legs straight, we've got another 30 seconds, either side, hips up again, reaching up, shoulders, elbows tucked underneath your shoulder, neck is long, really important that we get that technique right, it's going to make this exercise a lot, lot nicer, a lot better for your shoulders, lift the hips up, Final 10 seconds on this side. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Swing around. Same on the other side to finish off. Lift and hold. Reaching up as high as you can. Keep those hips up. Push yourself now. Keep the hips lifted. Keep those obliques working. An entire 30 seconds. Deep breathing. We've got 15 seconds to go. Lift up just a little bit high, push those hips up for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lower back down. Well done, guys. That's it for today's class. Like I said, we're going to be bringing these classes out every fortnight. I'll show you with our Express Pilates class. If you like the class, leave a comment, let us know what you think. For more videos, you can find us at Better Exercise. .com.au. Thanks a lot.